we're back. So we've had a few weeks off the channel, just as you can see. We're in the UK, I'm back in the UK now. Um, so I just wanted some time to just adjust routine, find my feet with prep. Um, I'm four weeks into prep now, five weeks on Tuesday. So a lot's changed since the last video. Um, so I'll bring you up to date on all that. We're gonna hit a big session down at Ultraflex. We're gonna take you for a massage. I'm having an IV drip today, so there's plenty happening, but I'll bring you up to speed with, with where we're at. Had some nice downtime with the family over the last two weeks while being back in the UK. Got into a good routine where cardio's hit fasted, <clears throat> training midday, and then work towards the back end of the day um, to cap the day off. But I just wanted to find that prep routine because in prep, once you find that routine, you need to rinse it. So we've got a little bit more time left in the UK. Part of me wants to stay here and see it all out because things are moving that nicely. But there's been big adjustments. Um, Obviously food now is, is in quite a deficit, so I think food pretty much, I'll, I'll have a look at the macros. We're, we're sat pretty comfortable on a training day still, so we're at 275 protein, 34 fats, so we're running baseline fats at the minute, so we drive our energy into carbs, um, which is sat at 360, and then pretty much that takes our total to 2,838 on a training day. Non-training day, a little bit more aggressive, so protein's slightly dropped at 255, fats are elevated at 61, and carbs are brought down to 244. So that sits at 2,545. CV work, cardio is fasted every morning, 30 minutes times seven, and we're at 10,000 steps. Um, so there's been a sufficient drop in scale weight, as you might see, or you might be able to tell from my face. We've come from 97 kilogram down to 89.40 this morning in a, in a period of four weeks. So that tells me my body definitely didn't want to be at that size. So I feel a lot more comfortable. Training, if anything, has progressed because I'm not partitioning and digesting as much food. Um, not got any, any weaker strength, if anything, is at an all time high. Um, and to say we're eight weeks out, eight weeks from the first show, which is not long, probably in the best position from a physique standpoint that I've ever been in. If you look down the channel and look at when I was eight weeks out last time, I was carrying a lot more body fat, I didn't have as much muscle, so I'm just going to enjoy the process. I've not put as much pressure on myself this time. I feel like last time I was all about the result and back into bodybuilding, I was like, right, I need to, to show that I'm, I'm worthwhile to stay at the top of the amateur ranks, and I did that, and I feel now it's just about enjoying the process. We've got five shows lined up. We start in Alicante on the 1st and 2nd of June. If we miss there, we go to Italy two weeks later. If we miss there, we go to Ireland a week later. If we miss there, we go back to uh, Spain. And then if we miss there, we go back to the Amateur Olympia in Portugal. And if I miss there, that'll be the end of the road. Um, but we've allowed like seven to 14 days to, to, to peak between each show. So it's gonna be a hard, hard prep. Um, and that's why I think I'm just enjoying it because while I've got the energy and while I've got the, the let's say motivation, which shouldn't really be a factor because discipline's built in that strong. It's just about rinsing it. So that's the current situation. So meal one, we've got 80 gram cream of rice, 300 mil egg whites, two whole eggs, 100 gram veg. With your cream of rice, if you want to make it properly, get yourself a whisk. I have 80 gram, so I times the amount of water that I need by four, so 320. And then all I do is I put it in for a minute, take it out, stir it, another minute, take it out, stir it. Then I'll go 30 seconds each time because if you go a minute after that, you're gonna ruin the consistency. I like it almost like a yogurt. So some people like it tough and firm, but I, I like it like a yogurt. So I'll show you the consistency of it. Um, but at this moment in prep now, I've just said to Alex, I think oats are gonna have to come back in. If it wasn't for the omelet, the cream of rice just goes straight through you. It's a, if you're in an off season and you're struggling, get the cream of rice because it just literally, there's, there's not much in it at all other than carbs. Um, and it doesn't sit heavy because it's not got a lot of fiber in. So it's a great, great tool. So the morning, health ups. Um, obviously, we have some general health and well-being supplements, so we just have the likes of your Omega-3. Um, we've got B vitamin complex here, vitamin B12, berberine, and a multivitamin, wherever that's got to. There we have it, a good multivitamin. 
And then obviously when you are running assistance, it's so important. And if you're taking blood work quite frequently, which you're gonna see on this channel, we've got the liver stack, we have the heart stack, and we have the kidney stack. So the heart stack's got a good blend of like citrus bergamot, which can help with cholesterol levels. We then have the kidney stack, uh, again, beetroot extract, whole form berry, which is really good. Uh, and then we've got the liver stack, which has got Tudka in um, at a high dose, really, in four other blends. It's got plenty of like ingredients that when you are bodybuilding and when you're adding a significant amount of stress and pressure on your body, it can skew your blood markers. So I literally have four of those in the morning, four of those in the morning, four of those in the morning, and then four again, four again, and two with a heart stack. Um, and as you'll see, bloods are very good. So health is wealth, as they say. But of course, if you're not taking your blood work, you don't know how your hormones are sat. So it's important that you do. And if you're assisted, you want to be getting that done every 12 weeks. Um, so I run it every 12 weeks. The blood clinic look after me. Um, and it keeps you in a good position because for me, obviously, the goal is not to stay on forever. Um, dependent on the outcomes of the shows this year, it's, the plan is for me really to hopefully get back healthy and, and come off. Um, so it's important that I'm staying on top of those bloods and post cycle then looking at what they will actually look like um, and then how I'll get fully recovered. So the brand that we use is Supplement Needs. So Dr. Dean, um, all being formulated properly, all very good in terms of dosages um, and probably industry leading. So if you do want to get those supplements, they do come at a cost, but in my opinion, like I said, health is wealth. So you can use my code BEN10 which will save you some cash. Well, them in one, I reckon. Oh. <coughs> I mean, you meant to mix this with water, vitamin B12, but I just have a, a mill in a pop it because I can't be asked drinking loads of water. There we go, into meal one. So, we're eight weeks out, there's gonna be a video dropping every week. As we get closer, we'll increase it to a week. Um, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment what you wanna see. Um, but we've got a busy day today. We're gonna to eat meal one, we're gonna head for a massage, an IV drip, and then we're gonna hit push. Big push session, so you'll see how I'm setting up my, my push day, how I've grown my upper line this off season. So there'll be a lot of good cues in there for you if you want a good push session, make sure you stay tuned for that. Say the this right one, because yeah. uh, I'm posing a lot again, and it just feels like a. I do one set in gym, yeah, and it just feels blown, right. which is good, but at the same time, it gets too tight, super tight, yeah. yeah. Is it the same light as last time? Yeah, yeah. if I want to, yeah. yeah. And then there, so just touching yeah. that. that pet connection area. Yeah, it's stiff in there, mate. Really tight. Is it? Yeah. You forget how fucking that. tough you are, mate. <laughs> Fuck's sake, he's very yeah. good. <laughs> With training, the amount of muscle I've put on in the last 14 months, I get a very tight pec, so when I'm in the lengthened position of any movement, my pec, wouldn't say it twinges as such, but I feel a little bit vulnerable. So I keep on top of it most weeks just to get it loosened up. So if you are feeling beat up, the analogy I always use is you'd never drive your car and not get it MOT'd, would you? You always get your car MOT'd, so why would you go to the gym every week, every day, smash your body to pieces and never get it looked at? It's undervalued and it's so good. Um, like, we're gonna look at my back today and when I'm flaring my back in my back shots, one lat is clearly bigger than the other because I can't fully contract it. So hopefully we'll loosen that up. We did that last prep and, and Todd fixed it all up. So it's just about staying on top of, um, on top of your body and looking after it. So we're gonna loosen this up. This one's fine to be honest, and then we'll get onto the back.
just feel a bit spaced out there in your own. How do you feel? He's, he's good on the bag. Um, but now I feel ready not to train. Definitely do not feel ready to train. But I feel better, I feel that's definitely more mobile. Um, and when I flare my back, I couldn't open this one. Already I can feel I can actually pop that a little bit more. So it's good to remember, deep tissue is king, recovery is king. How, how often would you recommend getting one of these done? Like once every three months, you can have like your full drip and then you can have in between that your B12 shots, it's kind of like an energy boost as well. So this is IV drip, Ben's got the full mashings of the drip here. He's got glutathione, he's got vitamin A, B, C, D and E. He's got multi-mineral and he's got two mil of vitamin B12 as well, so really good for energy. How long does it take? 30 minutes? It takes about half an hour to go through, so yeah. You should feel it within the next few hours. So once it's gone into the bloodstream, it should be straight into your blood. So yeah, then you should feel better straight away. Quick that out. So just add pre-workout meal, chicken, rice and some greens. Um, I don't do any check-ins now on a Friday, so Friday is literally my day where I spend it on the business side. I have all my, my meetings with my staff, uh, we've just talked around Q1, the figures, the calls, clients in, clients out, just to see how the performance of the business has, has gone on. Um, and we're launching something quite exciting, which by the time this video goes live, will be live. It's application only. Um, and we have pretty much 10 spots available. Bear in mind when we do these challenges, we usually usually get 100 people on board but we're being very selective with this um, and the winner of the best result gets a full trip to Marbella paid for this summer so if you want to be in with a chance hit the link in the bio we'll get your call, call arranged or message me on Instagram uh, we'll be running calls with all the, the new gen team and myself and then we'll be uh, seeing who's the right fit and getting every, everybody involved um, and then the winner gets the, the trip to Marbella. So there's plenty happening, we've got, we've got nine, nine people who run like a WhatsApp check-in today uh, where we've got the seven and a half weeks out from a shoot, I've got six lads seven and a half weeks out from a natural bodybuilding competition so it's all happening with the coaching which is good uh, but new gen's flying at the minute. So we've got another group shoot in seven and a half weeks with Bailey. Uh, we've just ran a more recent shoot now. Uh, just Sergio missing out of the team here. You can see the lads are in great shape. We had over 15 on that, so that's group two and then group one. Um, and as you can see, some of the um, the results off the back of it. But yeah, we're, we're cooking up some results, elite level lifestyle transformations at the minute. So if you want to join the team, you know what to do, hit the link. So obviously now I am working with supplement needs. I used to buy these before I was working with them so I feel in a very good position. You might all be thinking what happened to ESN. So I'll just be straight up. ESN came to the UK market, took loads of athletes on and it was all a little bit a mess. ESN supplements are phenomenal but the management and how it was run was very chaotic and you all know me by now. I'm authentic. You may as well have called me Ben ESN if I was going to be pushing how they wanted me to push them. So it just didn't work. Great company. No bad blood with the staff but I just like to push products authentically and not in people's faces. This new protein fusion by Supplement Needs, if you're on a diet, it's unbelievable. You've got literally macros wise per serving, you've got literally, it's 0.7 fat, carbs one, protein 21, and it's so thick and creamy, the strawberry cheesecake one. Um, at the minute we're using the pre-focus, so sour stardust. It's not the best tasting, but the focus on it, and if you combine it with the pump, top draw. So again, everything at the minute that I'm using is um, is pretty much supplement needs. The way I saw other option that I go for is the um, chocolate brownie. That, you know, is, is, is game changing. Um, and they've also just launched cream of rice. I've had the cookie dough one, which is really nice. So yeah, supplement needs are the brand. Um, but we've got the pre here, intra. Um, and then we're off to train push. Might give you a physique update. 
Might not, you'll have to see. That's what I've got. So tension midsection. So now in order to get your obliques in like you do, crunch them, crunch your obliques. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm yeah, you are, a lot, but, sorry, but what I'm we need sorry. to do is more oblique work in order to improve your mind to muscle connections. Yeah. It's so common, but tension midsection now. Yeah, there you go. People have not really got to context of his transformation, but I'll put it on the screen. Hamstrings, mate, and adductors look so good. Adductors look fucking mint from back. Look at them. Fasted the best look by a mile. Hamstrings, legs could come in. So there's a lot of, in peak week, them legs just need completely resting. I might even pull cardio from next week, maybe, and just freshen you up. But he's been with me how long? Two and a half years. Two and a half year. Um, and he was a footballer, but when you joined, you had a bit of muscle, didn't you? Skinny fat. But he's now, what are you, oh, si similar fat. weight to when you first started? Same. Same weight exactly. when he first started, but I'll show the comparison from where he started to where he's at now. Well, you've just seen it. And the difference is like, playing the long game, like off season, no, recomp, off season, diet, off season. And we didn't rush it like, we talked about a shoot before saying, right, we'll do a shoot, but you just weren't ready, were you? We needed more muscle, and now, like, look at these six foot, what, one, six, six two. He needs last to pack. Year, last year, what was that? Seven, one last year. And we didn't get his hips in last year because we didn't have the muscle, did we, really? He needed more density to the back, so we changed his program. You were following like a one working set, one back off set. It weren't working for him, so we went higher volume, um, and he's responded really well, so. But if I show you where he's gone, starting position, off season to now, it shows the full process of physique development. But there's probably about 5% of clients who can adhere as well as he can, so remember that. <laughs> right. Got a prime masterclass today. So we start with a prime pec deck, three sets, eight to 12, before we go into prime incline. A lot of it's upper clavicle based today. Um, but we're going to try and challenge it in the shortened position so the pin um, on the setting just so that we spend a lot of time here we also pause here but what we want to do is drive as much blood flow into the chest to begin with here so that really the mind to muscle connection is there when we're pressing but also that we're warm so three sets eight to twelve and we challenge it here and here so take your time through this Often what you'll see I talk around in training content is tempo cues. So if you bring that to life, what we've just done is three seconds in the eccentric, so that's where the muscle is lengthening. One second in the pause, which essentially where the muscle is fully lengthened and the essential movement has stopped. Two seconds into the concentric and two seconds into the short. So if you break it down, it's a three, one, two, two. Um, and that way, you're not just moving a load from A to B, you're actually breaking the movement down and applying as much tension throughout that full range as possible.
Hey. Oh. Two sets of that done. Something different about this prep that I've probably not mentioned is if you do look at my Instagram, there's very little physique updates. I think I've posted one little posey one because I thought I looked decent looking in it, but you can't really see the physique. And previously on preps, I've like almost held myself ransom to social media and what I look like and what that engagement's telling me. And this year I was just like, doesn't fucking matter. Like what matters is when I compete, what the judges think. And to me, that's enough. Like you can put a post on Instagram and everybody in the world can say, you're gonna turn pro, you're gonna win. But that means absolutely nothing until you turn up on the day and you get the nod from the judge. So I've almost like just kept myself to myself. There's no real physique updates. There's no real kind of evident signs of what I look like. I've put a few story ones on, but I put them in black and white from a distance and I feel more at peace. I feel like I'm enjoying the process a whole lot more. Uh, just me and Cal know what I look like and Josh Cardwell. That's it, so all I've sent photos to for four weeks. And I think I'm gonna keep it that way, maybe, till I'm back in Dubai, until I feel I can post and people are like, wow, that's the look. So it's a little bit of a different approach, but one that I'm definitely enjoying. So as much as I'd love to show you today, I don't think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna enjoy training and just getting in the gym and not have to think, oh, I'm gonna look at myself posing. I pose with Isaac once a week, I enjoy it, and I'm just in a completely different mindset this time, and it's nice. So people who are on prep, if you're doing things like looking at your physique too much and you're reviewing it constantly, and it's affecting you, stop doing it. It's like if you do something daily and you don't enjoy it, if you go to a pub drinking weekly and you don't enjoy it, you stop doing it. It's the same with this, if you're looking at yourself constantly and judging yourself, and it's affecting you, just stop doing it. see now how specific the planning is. Just done basically chest, we then do a lat top up and then a delt top up. And that's all based on where I need to improve. Everybody last year was like, your back's the best part. And it probably was, but as we got leaner, the lower lats disappeared. So so much lat focus work now, but it's all with complete precision. So that's what the whole emphasis of this off season was, or the off season just gone was to be absolutely accurate throughout the full range and stay as composed as possible. And I think it's paid dividends. So apply that to your training. Don't just chase numbers. Be specific with the tempo, like I said at the start of the video, and chase feel. Whenever I started actually lifting weight that I could control within my back work, rather than just shifting a load, that's when I saw the most development. There was a rest pause on them sets. But for me, like drop sets, rest pauses have a place in an off season when you've got a lot of food in you. So for now they've come out um, and I just hit the rep range. So it's usually an eight to 12 times three and then on the final set hit 20 reps. But for me now, the fatigue versus reward there is, is questionable at like eight weeks out. So we'll just do the standard sets.
where we are. I promised, I didn't promise a thing, I said maybe, maybe not, and we've shown you the physique, and I think, hopefully you're all surprised by that, because at like eight, nine weeks out last time, I got quite a lot of comments saying I'm miles off, and uh, we didn't do too bad, so at this point now, like there's probably what I think personally anywhere between like 10 to 14 pounds to come off to be skinned alive. Um, I think that I'll, I'll be around a similar weight on stage this year, but just a lot leaner and a lot bigger. Um, but that's the current look. So as you can tell, mood's good, energy's good, training's very, very good, and we're in a very good routine. So we'll head home and get post-workout now. We're at that stage of dieting where we're gonna try a new flavor of cream of rice, which is chocolate orange. So we'll see what it's saying. But that's pretty much a wrap day in the life of what it currently looks like on a Friday, which as I said, is a little bit lower workload. I like to finish the day with a few consultation calls so that we can get the new starters set up ready for Monday. So we've got two calls and then um, I'll be into setting some programs up for some new clients who are joining. And then that'll be a wrap. That'll be a wrap. So pretty much what's happening at the minute, we're focused. There's a lot happening with new gen, there's a lot happening with bodybuilding, we're juggling a lot of plates, but juggling them very well. So you'll have to stay tuned for the next video because it's blood work and stack design. So I'll see you in the next one. And remember to comment what you want to see, like and subscribe.